In an environment defined by new expectations and new experiences, digital acceleration has helped businesses of all sizes transform to meet today's needs. But there is still more work to be done. At the most basic level, there is a discrepancy between how easy and efficient consumer payments are compared to B2B transactions. So here to discuss the need for faster, more efficient B2B payments transactions. We're joined now by Darren Parslow. He's the global head of Visa Commercial Solutions. Hi, Darren. Thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. Good morning. Okay, uh, we just heard there, you know, it's an environment that's defined by new expectations, new experiences. Uh, digital acceleration is helping businesses of all sizes uh, transform uh, to meet its basic needs. But let's talk about uh, the digital payments landscape today. What does it look like? Yeah, so clearly we are becoming more digital. Um, but I would like to say the more things change, the more they stay the mm. same, right? So. The digital payments landscape is evolving, but honestly, there's still far too much complication in the B2B space. Mm. Um, and where we've seen consumer payments go, especially since pandemic, uh, when everyone is thrust into digital payments, whether they liked it or not, now we have this incredible interest among companies, whether they're banks or new companies, what we call treasury tech companies that are all over the, the floor here at Cybos, all focus on really making that like next step in digital payments and making sure that we have the same kind of convenience and trust and transparency and reliability that we do in consumer payments. Mm. While consumer payments are becoming increasingly digital at a breakneck speed, business payments haven't been quite as quick to evolve. Why do you think that is? Yeah. So it's a bit back to what I kind of mentioned on the complication, right? So I'll give you an example. Uh, we talked to a Fortune 50 treasurer just a couple of weeks ago. Um, and she said, and she's in the financial space, she's in the digital space, her, her products are digital products. She has eight different treasury systems that she has to work off for payments, whether that's on payables or receivables. And this is a digital by definition company. It's just the level of legacy systems that we've kind of grown up with in this space sometimes are hard to, to kind of overcome. Um, but everyone here on this floor is working hard to do just that. So just talk to us about the impact on business uh, yeah. when there are slow B2B payments. What's the impact? Yeah, so um, it's funny. We just launched a working capital index for co uh, growth corporates and where we talked to over 900 treasurers. When you talk to treasurers and you talk to them about like how they use working capital and why they use working capital and their focus on cash flow and cash flow management, they're really focused on like speeding up those receivables, making sure that you've got appropriate cash flow. And when you have slow B2B payments, when you have slow payments between buyers and suppliers, you get stuck a bit, right? And in the US alone, there's $3 trillion stuck in receivables, right? So it just, it reduces that ability to really provide liquidity and have good cash flow. Mm. So what's the solution then at the moment? What's the payments ecosystem doing to address these outdated processes? Yeah, so I think everyone is focused on this whole digital revolution, right? Everyone here at Cybos has digital or data-driven or APIs, um, all sorts of partnerships between fintechs, big networks, and traditional financial institutions to help. So everyone's got digital on their agenda. I would say, I would, I would imagine that there's not a company here whose roadmap for FY24 isn't filled with digitizing their traditional products. So we are working at it. Uh, and I think that the, the pace of, and the speed of this transformation just continues to get quicker and quicker. Mm -hmm. Okay, so obviously businesses are impacted by slow B2B payments, but what are, are the benefits that they could see if those uh, B2B payments were on the same level as consumer payments? Yeah, so just think about reducing your operational risk, increasing that transparency, that, that visibility. Um, and I'll give you some examples. So in our space, uh, we, we provide virtual credentials, right? So real digital credentials between buyers and suppliers where you could pay a single invoice and have it reconciled automatically. The supplier gets a D plus one settlement. Another example, you can give a employee a, a virtual credential in their wallet where they can go and make expenses for the company or buy something for the company and they're used to that consumer experience, right? That's their digital wallet. One of the, the fun facts that's depressing for some of us is that in you know, less than three years, 75% of our workforce will be millennials or Gen Z. They're used to that form factor and that form factor only. And if B2B payments can't keep up with their expectations for mobile delivery, then we're gonna stay behind. Mm. So what's Visa doing specifically mm. to address these B2B payments? Yeah, so Visa has uh, products for all sorts of B2B payments from micropayments between small businesses and suppliers, 
through middle market, large corporates, governments. We've got solutions in treasury services and cross-border account to account. So really just a whole focus on the B2B space. One of the things we're really excited about is a network that we launched a couple of years ago called B2B Connect, where we've got over 100 banks in over 100 countries and really focused on taking the friction out of those international big ticket cross-border payments um, and coming up with something that's uh, as reliable, uh, faster, more transparent with more data, and just really exciting stuff. Let's look into the future. Where do you see B2B payments in five to 10 years? Or maybe where do you hope to see yeah. sooner than that? So I do think, look, we're definitely gonna be much more digital, right? And the, the level of partnerships between whether it's ERP players or CRM players and the FinTechs and the traditional banks and the corporates themselves, right, to make things more simple, more digital, we will be much farther along in five years. I actually think that there will also be a catalyst with government and public-private partnerships, right? So lots of governments around the world are taking a very big interest in B2B payments and making sure that they are secure, that they are safe, that they are convenient and reliable for world commerce. So. Uh, I do think we'll be in a very different place in five years. Well, you're in the right place to get the ball rolling. Certainly a busy week ahead. Busy week. Cybos 2023. Right. I wish you all the best Thank with it. Thank you so much. The energy to get through the next four days, <laughs> uh, I'm sure will be a fantastic one. Darren Parslow, Global Head, Visa Commercial Solutions. Thank you once again for joining us. Thank you, Cybos guys. TV.